Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. It's a case of Craig versus Craig Thompson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Craig, you say that today is your last hope in discovering your true identity. Now, you state that one question continually haunts you. Is the man you've been calling dad for most of your life really your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Janelle Craig, you are Ms. Craig's mother. You admit to sleeping with more than one man at the time your daughter was conceived, yet you argue you don't understand why she's still looking for answers. Right. Correct. Now, Mr. Thompson, you say you always assumed you were Ms. Craig's father. Yes, Your Honor. But then you claim a startling revelation caused you to question paternity. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Craig, why is today your last hope? Because I struggle with my identity, um, first and foremost. I've been going through too much, in and out of foster homes, back and forth. When I was about five, um, there was a man in my life, and he was said to be my father. I can remember calling him daddy, daddy, and my auntie, like, don't call him daddy anymore, because that's not your dad. And one day, your aunt just told you out the blue, Yep. Don't call him daddy, because that's not your father. And I couldn't understand why. Like, as a child, I couldn't understand why. And so, that wasn't Mr. Thompson? No. When did he come into your life? I was about 10. And then what happened? How did you meet him? I was getting out the foster home with my sister. We went to go stay with my mom and my aunt at the time. My dad came around. I was like, okay, where's the other man at? And they was like, well, this is your dad right here. Miss Craig, who's this man she thought was her father? That was the current boyfriend, and he knew he wasn't the father. So you didn't tell her... No. ...this is your father. No. Because in your mind, Mr. Thompson was her biological father. Yes. Okay, so go ahead. Um, when she was, I think, 10, I saw him and his wife in a tavern. And I walked up to him and said, hey, baby daddy, we have a child together, and they're looking at me With like him, I'm crazy. He, <laughs> him and his wife were just yes, at a tavern? Yes, And I walked up and said, hey, baby daddy. He's like, no, I don't have any kids. So I'm like, yeah, we have a 10-year-old child together. Um, yada, yada, yada. I gave him, you know, I told him about her. He came to see her, and... Now, Miss Craig, why would you do that like that? What do you mean? <laughs> but you say he really didn't know. He didn't know. So, yes, I walked up to him and let him know that we had a child together. I mean, I didn't come out right and say, hey, baby daddy. Oh, but that's what you I said. Mean, so, yeah. I thought that's what you walked I mean, up there I mean, and just said. just to paraphrase it, but, yeah, I did come out and say, look, we have a 10-year-old kid together. Okay, so you remember this day? No. <laughs> no, I do not. So, how did you find out that I remember, Chanel... I remember seeing Chanel when Chanel was a baby. She was a small little baby. She was one, but oh. I came out of prison. She was a little baby. And I came by her grandmama's house. Her mother wasn't there. Oh. And I seen Chanel. When you looked at her, did you believe this is my child? No. Oh. I didn't. That's why I told her mother. And You're so... lying. You never told me that. And I don't even believe you went to my mama's house. Oh. Where was she living at at the time? On 24th. Liar. Liar. So wait, Miss Craig, you're saying your mom didn't even live on the street, he no, said? No, she did not. So you don't believe he ever came by no, to see her? No, I do not. I think the first time he seen her, she was 10 years old. No. How did you get back into her Chanel, life? Chanel's Chanel auntie had gave me a call and told me that Chanel needed me and told me that her mother was gone away and she needed me badly. And she told, asked me if I can come back and get into her life. Okay. And that's what I did. And so, even though you had doubts when you saw her when she was a child, when you got this call from her aunt that she needed you, you came back again. Correct. Because I felt that she really... She, it's a possible chance that she was. So, okay, so you came back, and so you started a relationship with her? Yes. She wouldn't come with me alone. I just felt like that. I but wanted to I spend took time with her. People with she didn't me. want to spend time with me. She wanted to bring other people, and I couldn't but deal you, with that. You, she you didn't can't you. understand. Yeah. That's, that's normal. As a child, I didn't trust him to be with him, so every time I left with him, I would bring a cousin or my sister with me. And I felt like it was my fault when he left. It wasn't her what? fault. So you just felt like there were so many people, it became overwhelming for right. you. And then you started coming around less and less. Correct. But, so Chanel, you mm -hmm. claim from the time you were 10 to the time you were 16, you believe Mr. Thompson was your father. Yes. 
You but did. he wasn't around that long. He came back when I was about to turn 17, two months before my birthday. Mm -hmm. Things wasn't going too well with her and the relationship they was having, because Janelle That's was... That's mother and daughter, but how do you come in from being gone seven years and say, oh, you can come live in my house? Again, she don't know you. Uh Dude, but you gotta look at, I took care of her when you wasn't. You weren't around. You weren't neither. You around with these I, all I day. played both parts. What are you talking about? The hard part over with. And this is what I go her. through. Girl, please. This is what I, I go through with them. They ain't nobody so, who's in jail. For seven it, years, okay, why the hell you raised so her? So what? Seven years from 10 to and 23. And I did eight. So what's the difference? It's been mama. No mama and daddy. It's been mama playing mama and daddy role. So now all of a sudden, you I don't see no wanna, mama. Oh, I see, I see her auntie been taking care of her for her whole life. Who's whole life? That's all I see. Chanel's. Yeah, right. We're, okay, what fantasy world are you living in? Because I don't see that. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Okay, so you came out of the foster care system and you were living with your aunt and your mother. Yes. And all this time, you think Mr. Thompson is your father. Yes, but when I got back in touch with him, his girlfriend and her kids was telling me that he was saying that he didn't think I was his. Because somebody else's name was on a birth certificate. That's why I didn't believe it. I told you that when I first met Chanel you back told, up again. Chanel told me that you when she turned 16. I said she that showed me her birth certificate because she had she needed an ID, a state ID. It doesn't and she showed matter. Me this birth I still certificate. told you he told put his nothing. name on the birth certificate. He told me nothing. Let me get this straight. Chanel, what happened when you turned 16? The first man, him and my mom was talking at the time. Now this is the guy that was around when you were five. Yes, ma'am. He came back. He played the father role for a couple months. Everybody's like, is you sure that's not your daddy? Cause I could see some features in there, but the test was already done, so I was... So, okay, so you had a DNA test done and you knew that this was not your biological father. Yes. Okay, this is confusing for me right now, so I can only imagine how it felt for you. So at this time, you're just confused. You don't know? Are you asking your mother? Are you upset with your mother? I'm mad at both of them because they should have got it done when I was born. And if they didn't get it done, they should have got it done when he came back into my life when I was 10. Well, that's hard to do when you only got one person that's willing to do that. You can't make somebody else do something. Who was willing to do it, Janelle? And it was me. I've been asked. So, I mean, what do you want you me to do? You ain't never asked me for no blood test. You, you ain't never asked me there. for nothing. I was a virgin when we met. He know this. And you feel certain feel... that he is her biological well, I mean, father? It, it's a possibility that he can't be because, yeah, I was a little promiscuous at 16 years old. Though. But oh, at the same on, I thought time, you was a virgin, I though. still when did. A virgin? Hello. When I a virgin, still though. raised my child mm. and I did it by myself. Take, take me back. In this relationship, you said she was a virgin. Correct. So... Why is it you have doubt if you're Chanel's father if you thought she was a virgin when how, you were... Look how it come to me. It came to me as in, like, this is your baby. I ain't never seen her pregnant. I've been gone. You're but stupid. When you, you said that when you... You sound stupid. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Miss Craig. You said when you got home, you immediately went over there to see this little baby. Yes. And you didn't think she was yours, so you thought it was plausible then. Correct. And then somebody but else on our birth certificate, so I'm like, well, that's because if this he dude, stepped up. If, if this was my baby, uh, okay. but you gonna put okay, somebody so else's no, name no, on no, our birth no, certificate. No, 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 I'm understanding that so point. So it's making me think so, that. So, Ms. Craig, if you did know it was him, why put another man's first name off, on I'm instead of just... I'm 16 years old, mm -hmm. scared, first child, and this man said, I'll step in and do what needs to be done for this child. Did you on tell that man he was the biological No, I did not. He just he stepped up it. and volunteered. Yes, right, see, okay. I've, been, I've been through this before. I, I had another little daughter, and come to find out she's not mine. And I've been taking care of her since she was, what, 17, 18 years now. Look, I appreciate the fact that you've been through this before, and that can scar someone. But let's be honest. Are you doubtful that Chanel is your biological daughter because someone else lied to you? Or are you doubtful mm -hmm. just based upon the circumstances? Based upon her mama, how she deal with things and how she do things. This is the first time I'm hearing him what, say what's that... What's the first time? That he doubted. He was just telling me that he knew for a fact. 
I was his child. Like, he don't I do knew for a fact lie. because she was supposed to have been a virgin. I feel hurt by the whole situation. I feel like I got to suffer for their mistakes. Right. And I can see, um, Chanel, that this really yeah, it's, it's it, breaking you down. It hurt, and they don't even understand like how bad it feels to me, Dad. Well, tell them. I gotta go through this. Y'all hurt my feelings, for real, Mom. Well, I apologize, because that was never my intentions to hurt you. Now, life, it, it comes with up and downs, and it comes with hurts. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I am Mama and Daddy. I think I've done a great job or a good job as best as I could to my ability. I understand, Mom, but, but when you say you gotta play the Mama and Daddy role, and that's sometimes exactly that just what don't I've work. Done now. You're right. It don't work. It don't work, but I cannot make the other parent step up and Chanel, be a parent. Chanel knows, All I can Chanel do is knows, do my I job love her, and try to make love sure and that you don't first, miss out first on other stuff. Okay, the, the, let, me, let me say this. Instead of talking over her, listen to her. <laughs> She's trying to explain how she feels. It's important to just hear her out. What, what do you feel? I feel hurt. Like, I just want to cover this whole floor in tears because this has been going on for too long. I'm 23 years old now. It shouldn't have been taking that long. I, I came to him quite a few times. The first time I was 17, he said, well, wait till you turn 18. <laughs> 18, you ain't got That's to pay no more really child support. It really didn't matter to me. It wasn't that important to me. I, only so, thing I hold knew, on. I, was, I wanted to take care of her. Mr. Thompson, I want to ask you, why were you reluctant to take a DNA test privately? We never had time. You so had time, so you just didn't want to step up and be a man and take care of responsibility. I've been taking care of her, dude. Where you For been real? at? That's where, where that's at? at. Hold on, hold on. About. So, Chanel, what has this meant in your life to have this Ugh. confusion, this ball of confusion over your head? I mean, I just want to say, first off, I got a baby now, and I was diagnosed with postpartum depression, and it come from, from, from my lifestyle, from this. Like, I done been through too much. And I don't, I shouldn't feel like I had to go through that. Should no child had to go through that. It hurt. And it ain't like I, I'm just been going through it for a little while. No, I've been going through this for my whole entire life and I really ain't had no type of support behind me. And what kind of support did you need? A father for one. And I, I don't blame my mama for what she did, but I just wish she could have been there a little more. And so right now, you really want to break this cycle for your baby. I feel like I shouldn't have to go through that with his dad. So we got the paternity test off top. His name is on the birth certificate. He know that's his child. And when my baby grow up, he not going to have to go through what I went through. But I can't even get these two in the same room together and get along for five seconds. And when they go through their situations, then I'm having to choose between them. And I don't want to choose nobody over my mama. And I don't, if this is my father, I don't want to choose nobody over him either. I just want everybody to get along. And thank you for just hearing her out. Because sometimes I know as a parent and as a potential parent, I see you have love for her, whether or not she is your yeah. biological child. You want to fix it so bad. You just want to talk over it and fix it and say, I'll do whatever. Part of getting to that next step of healing is allowing her a chance to just speak about what this has meant to me. And so at this point, I think it's, it's time to alleviate that doubt and that confusion and just have the results. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Craig V. Craig Thompson, as it pertains to Ms. Chanel Craig, Ms. Craig, Mr. Thompson, do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Craig V. Craig Thompson, 
as it pertains to Ms. Chanel Craig. Ms. Craig, Mr. Thompson is not your father. Oh. Sorry, Neil. Can you give me a hug? I'm your mom and dad. Don't matter. I'm still your daddy. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. So I can tell you wanted to just hear that he was your father to have that closure. Yeah, because he the only man that's in my baby life right now. Miss Craig, do you know who her biological father is? I have an idea, yes. Do you mm. know how you could find the gentleman? Yeah, yeah. And maybe ask if he would submit to a test? Yes. A... She yeah. just needs to know the truth. Right. You know, Mr. Thompson, I'm sorry. I could see that really hurt you. I just, I thought all this time, <laughs> crazy. I can see you love her. And the fact that you both showed up here today proves that you do support her in her efforts. And all I suggest is that you continue to do so. I will. And please help her find her father. And I know sometimes the truth hurts, but you are better knowing it. Court is adjourned. Jerome, can you please escort Chanel up to the bench, please? She says she knows, okay? And you're breaking a cycle now, right? Yes. You're a strong girl. And, and I'm gonna give you some resources, I'm gonna give you people you can talk to, people that will help you get through it, all right? You can do it, all right, honey? All right. All right, I'm gonna check on you. Okay. Okay, and if you need me, you need this courtroom, you need another test, we'll be there for you. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Take care, be strong. <laughs>